Hello, and welcome to the St. Lawrence University eSports stream. My name is Cyrus. And I'm Vivian. And we're going to be watching some Valorant today against Cornell University. Let's introduce you to our players. Yeah, it should be a good match today. Um, I think I'm excited. This, this is this is going to be a big deal. Mm -hmm. So in the top left here, we have Ridge Kling. He goes by the in-game name Tijek, and he usually plays Duelist for us. Uh, in the top middle there, we have Eric Schneider. He usually plays um, uh, Initiator. initiators, initiators for us, and he is our IGL, or in-game leader. Top right, we have Chris Kim. He usually tends to play controllers. Uh, bottom left, Sky Dietz, who plays duelists for us. And in the bottom right, we have Zach Hodgson, who plays Sent Sentinels. Mm -hmm. And um, Eric's in-game in -game name is... Zorstra, and yep. then Chris, we have Kago, Sky, Dollar Dollar Bill, and Zach Saint. Yeah. Excited to have you joining us today. We should be getting into the first map shortly. First map is Haven. It's a fun map. Can you tell us about Haven? Yeah, so Haven is a, uh, a very interesting site. It has three planting sites, and it's a, a very, very convoluted map. There's a lot of narrow hallways and corners to hide in so this will definitely be an interesting map for our team who is playing as defenders first so that'll be a definitely be an interesting match yeah yeah should be interesting okay should be loading in and we're in agent select has begun a few roles being hovered a few agents being hovered but nothing locked in yet but it looks like kago is going to continue with his omen it's brought a lot of success with us on that omen Zort says on that, uh, yeah. Sova, good initiator, allows them to get a lot of information for the team. Looks like Tijek playing Reyna, very, very typical. Mm -hmm. uh, Tijek tends to play very aggressive, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe Astra. Ooh. Looks like Tijek is changing his mm. mind. <laughs> I'm messing around a bit. I expect the duelist will be locked in eventually, yes. but you know they could always. Change it up. Looks like we have our first lock in with Saint as Chamber. Mm -hmm. And looks like the Saints currently are hovering a double initiator comp mm. with the uh, dollar dollar bill on the sky and Zortza on the sofa. This should allow the team a lot of good ability to initiate fights, as the name is, and to take positions using utility, which should be really good for. This map because, like, like we said, there are a lot of corners, a lot of convoluted areas, and three bomb Choose sites. So initiating tools are super important. Very good for gaining intel. I've found that Sova is very useful for C sites because there's just that really long hallway there that a lot of other agents just can't seem to collect intel on, just uh -huh. in the same way that Sova can. Yeah, Sova's pretty good on this map. Yes. Looks like the other team is running double sentinel. And so that Killjoy should uh, be able to defend the position Quite better well. than anybody on the Saints here. Yes. Yeah. Both teams opting for the Chamber. Strong pick on this map with his ultimate, offering him an Operator, which is good with the many long sight lines present. Especially with that Haven, or sorry, Heaven on A. That is, mm -hmm. That's a killer. That's a strong <laughs> position, yeah. Died to that position many times myself. Okay. And we're in. Saints are on the defensive side to start. Their double initiator comp should benefit them a bit on the attacking side, but on defense it'll be relevant when they're playing retake on a site after the plant. Yeah. Looks like the Saints are going with a classic sort of one on C and B, one in garage, two on A. Just the most efficient way to defend this site. And the, the pistol rounds in the Valorant can be a bit gimmicky. Yes. Yeah. They don't they don't matter a lot, but they do matter some and just try trying something, seeing what happens and then working off that is what's important at this point. Yes. Looks like the attacking team is planning on rushing C, but it also appears as if two of their members are in spawn still because their Killjoy has disconnected. Yeah. So, hopefully that gets sorted out before. Okay, we'll be right back. When it, everything's sorted out.
And we're back. It looks like uh, the Killjoy on the opposing team has reconnected, so we are all ready to get started in about six seconds here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Looks like those members are out of spawn, and Spike should be going C. Classic C split. Two for mid here. Got this Sky Dog who Scout is destroyed. sees the chamber there, but not quite the Omen. I'm not sure if if uh, she picked up on the Omen there. Mm -hmm. Execute off the C site. Kaga with a kill. Chamber succeeding through garage. That rush through mid was spike down. Effective. C. Yeah. Kago picked up another one before being traded on site. And Tijik gets one and retreats with the dismiss. Well, good shot from the omen. Spike planted. Spike goes down. Forty seconds. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Saint with one. The 1v1 pulls out his class. Teleport's ready. Looks like Saint is looking at some pre firing here, but is in a pretty tricky situation here. Yep. Getting up close with that classic. Looks like the omen is not. There we go. It looks like the omen did not realize uh, the rotation around the box, yeah. which was a very good play on his part. Excellent shots from Saints. He saw his player cam. Cool, calm, and collected. He's not bothered getting the 1v2 clip. We're pretty excited here in the booth. Great start to the map. Nothing like a clutch to get the blood flowing. Let's. Those of you not familiar with the Valorant economy, after each round, you gain an amount of money. If you're winning, you gain more money than if you're losing. But if you lost multiple rounds in a row, each round you lose up to four times in a row will give you more money. And so. Customarily, if you lose the first round, the pistol round, you don't buy anything. Your opponents will buy as much as they can, and you play what's called an eco round. So here, Cornell's on an eco round with just pistol. Looks like they are hard rushing mid here, um, but they are spotted by Saints, or sorry, not Saints, um, Dollar Dollar Bills. Black. Util here. Whole cat. Spike planted. One left. Far the Saints haven't lost anyone, that's the goal in playing the Eco round. Not to lose anyone. One enemy remaining. Just clean up for the Saints and pick up some people with weaker weapons, and that is five for none. Wonderful. Flawless round, yeah. This is going to be very good for the Saints. Let them run. Yeah. Now the Saints are gonna go into what's called a bonus round. They're gonna retain their SMGs and a marshal from the previous round because none of them died. But the opponents, having saved completely, will be able to buy full rifles and full shields and as much utility as they can. And so this now, just like the Saints had the advantage in the previous round, Cornell will have the advantage in this round. And so, but if the Saints lose this round, it's no harm to their economy. They'll still be able to yeah, no buy next round. like a hard push on C over here and looks like the Saints have decided to three stack mid here yeah. in preparation for a C push, which is unfortunately not what Cornell has decided to do here. Yeah, a little gambling on bonus rounds and ego rounds is, is important. All right. You don't have the same weapon, so you planted. will lose straight up fights yes. like that one. Looks like the Saints were able to rotate efficiently, but Cornell has a pretty good hold on Cargo with one, but Cornell get two back. Last player standing. That was a tricky position to be in, especially with the sniper rifle there. You can't catch a 1v5 is efficient. Let's keep going. Yep. With a rifle. The Valorant economy will talk about the magic number three a lot. If you survive with three players, your economy will increase, you will get more money. That's if you have fun. three of your players killed, you will, your economy will decrease. You won't have as much money for the next round. So in that bonus round, Saints would have liked to get at least three of the opponents. That would have been a pretty nice outcome for them. Unfortunately, they only got one. So you want to play, play. let's play. Scout destroyed. Spike's still down on the ground. No commits yet. Cornell just sort of playing off the contact, seeing what they can see. information from uh, both using his flash and and dog scout 
Uh, so there's a pretty good indication that they are on B or mid, but it appears that Kamel has rotated to push C, where none of the Saints are at the moment. Mm -hmm. This happened last round as well. Looks like Zorza will be peeking back in there, but the bomb should still be able to go down. Spike planted. Good headshot, but instantly traded. Great job for the Saints. Shot through the box. My there. Ult's right. yeah. Clinical shots there. Chamber getting two. Last wow. Triple with the chain for the chamber with that operator. We talked about that ability being so good on this map. And here we go in the fourth the third round already proven our fourth round already proven. Yes. Both good on attack and defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that after that loss, Saints money is not looking great. So just a few stronger pistols, some light shields, okay. but Generally, they'll try to get those three kills this round, try to stall the economy, but we'll see what they can do. Looks like the Cornell's executed on to B. Kijik is there. Take a little long. Looks like there's still some saints. There. Uh, Spike planted on a site in preparation for a rotate, but not sure that rotate is going to happen because they have great shots. <sighs> for the Saints getting two already. That should open them up to getting some weapons and maybe some kills here. Last player oh standing. Man. Back in the one v one. Valiant effort from the Saints getting two there after the spike went down. Up, not able to get that lucky number. These parasites thing. aren't going to take one step past this place. But now they have their weapons. So I noticed some players are running the Vandal and others are running the Phantom. What's the difference between those guns? So a Vandal is able to get a that one tap headshot, which can be really useful if you have good aim and precision and good uh, reaction time, but the Phantom is better for all-purpose use, I would mm -hmm. say. Um, you can get better, I if you're if you're more of a, a sprayer, you can just sort of click and hold, hope that bullets go somewhere. Uh, uh, it's, it's very useful because you don't necessarily have to get that headshot, but you're more able to get uh, uh, maybe, maybe right a torso here. shot, yeah. because the bullets don't spray as Drastic Fight planted. Which is, oh, it looks like Silva is using his ultimate site. Getting right some intel as to where they might be. And damaging them. Oh. Good shots from Zotsuna. He's in a 1v3. They know where he is, too. Revealing area. Utils. Oh. That was a good attempt. Yeah. But 1v3. Brings us to... 2-4. Saints are going to go into another eco round. I haven't quite decided what they want to do with their money yet. Yeah, it looks like we've got quite a, a drastic difference <laughs> yeah. in, in, in guns here. We've yeah. got two sheriffs, a classic, and two marshals, which... Uh, so it looks like this is a, a save round of sorts. Yeah. Seeing what they can get. A bit of a stack on the C site, and so it looks like they're going to be on. Not going to see. <laughs> yeah. Which, thankfully, we do have two Saints on A site, yeah. but... Poor cat! Oh, sky flash. Oh, oh dear. You should uh, run. The Sheriff comes out slowly. Kill draw and it will go down. Clear the site. Oh. Oh. Good attempt. I can see some exasperation in their faces. Yeah. It's always frustrating. Spike planted. See what Tijik can do with the Marshal from Heaven. Oh, very good. Body shot. Oh, didn't get the second one. Kaga also having the Marshal. Looks like almost everyone Cover going out. Their, their gun aimed up to Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh good standing. Good that was just unlucky. Yeah. Oh, chamber ulted. Oh. 
Yeah, I think Saint looks a little surprised there. Yeah. It was a very quick <laughs> shot from that chamber. Heaven can be a, a good vantage point, but also it's very predictable. It's a small small area that that the opposing team has to aim at. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. yeah. Also got a save route, so Saints won't be too worried about that one. This looks like they are currently full buying with four on Vandals and Kago on the Phantom. Never mind, he actually just switched to a Vandal. Full Vandals. Cool. Yeah. That works. Yes. Oh, never mind, back to the Phantom. <laughs> Little flop flopping. Looks like the Saints are keeping three on C, two on A again. Looks like they are once again, or Cornell is once again. Found one. Found one. Spy has halted, oh, but was outside by the door. Yeah. Omen smokes will go down. Oh, great peak, Chicago. Unfortunate outcome. Good position, just unfortunately there were too many people there. Spike planted. Spike will go down in a 4v2. Last player oh. standing. Again, that heaven position coming up. Spams through the walls. Very difficult site to retake yes. for the CTs or for the defending side from here. And so, not looks quite like sure if they'll have enough time to defuse. Yeah. Even uh, it appears that Hijek is just going to hide and save. Yep. This round. Save that right. Might be a wise decision. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's not on 50 health. No yes. ultimate. Yes. Definitely the right choice. Let's see if he can stay away with his gun. It doesn't look like Cornell's will go hunting. We've seen some un unfortunate uh, post-explosion deaths <laughs> <laughs> in recent games. Yeah. yeah. Which is just the most frustrating thing that can happen because you think you're saving your your expensive gun, but no. Yeah. Looks like the Saints have enough money to at least attempt just almost a complete point. buy this time. Let's see what they can do with it. Got some light shields there, but. It's not that big of a difference. I think it's just 25 extra yeah. HP. Yeah. Saints have, correctly. yeah, Saints have continued to keep this three on C, two on A strategy, and it's working out this time as they're heading towards this. Pigeon with one. Omen help comes in from Kago to get a quick kill. So the rotation. Elbow in garage gets another one. Saints are clinical this round. 5v2. Look Looks like the Saints are maybe expecting some rotates. We're not staying here. Yes. And now, oh, never mind. to A site. See the states were over quickly, but they will not get there in time to stop playing. Spike spike. planted. Thankfully they still have quite a bit of time to yeah. not a very wide site, so no. Cutting there was one enemy remaining. Swords are getting one. Oh, oh but now they know where the sky is. Yeah. Yeah. Back to work with the other one. Two in the round for the IGL. Putting a My third round on the board for the you Saints and being a bit of a drought. Yes. A six round drought, actually. So well done. If you're not familiar with the game of Valorant, each half has 12 rounds. Right so here. three more rounds to go, including this one. Right here. Look, the Saints are going to continue with that 3 2 setup, leaving B completely open and just a stream for tripwire and garage. I've got your trail. Standing ahead. I am the hunter! Oh. Getting one. Well done. Tagging another one. I will say, as someone who. Has played Sova a lot. It is not. 
impressive that that he was able to keep his cool there. Yeah, definitely not. It's a very uh, dense alt. I don't know how else to describe it. But... Great shot. Um, Cornell good, Sky. Good. Right there, oh, it looks like spike plant. Spike will go down and it typically right there. Right? Oh. I believe Pidgeot got some hits on that. Yeah, yeah. So. Helmet's very heavily damaged. Yes. But he's oh. healing back up with the sky. So it's moving on to site. Sky and Omen appear to be waiting off site. Torch short, oh, peeking it soon. One enemy one, remaining. Traded. Two v one. Watch out, man. Great. And well done. But on our side this time. <laughs> well done from the Saints. A little, a little cheer of excitement from Dollar Dollar Bill there. Stop yeah. That shit, Excited to win that round. Two on the board for the Saints in a round now. Some momentum building. Money Did will still be completely fine thing, for right? Cornell Figure after those eventually. six round wins in a row. And it looks like the Cornell's going to call a quick timeout. We'll bring you to our player camps. How do you think the Saints are doing right now mentally? I think that they are probably feeling pretty neutral. They were in that, like you said, that six round drought, which was probably not very good for the team morale. But, you know, they just had two, two, three, two really good two. rounds. Um, I believe that they're able to keep their composure. They've, they've been in situations like this before, and they will be able to make it out, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're worrying too much. I don't yeah. think Cornell is worrying too much either. I think this was a very strategical pause. Yes. Just trying to disrupt some possible momentum building for the Saints. Mm -hmm. Because each round has twelve each half has twelve rounds and Cornell only has six rounds at the moment, it's entirely possible that after that very strong start, mm -hmm. Cornell w might end the half six six tied. So they want to try to disrupt any building momentum, ice yes. the Saint players. Yes. So taking that quick pause should Calm down a bit of those cheers of excitement we were hearing earlier. They could also potentially be discussing. It, it appears that they've done the sim a similar strategy the past few rounds. You know, they they rush C and then they get on site and then they rotate to A, and it ends up it ends up being the same players every time. So maybe that they're just trying to figure out some ways to shake it up a little bit. All right, we've got some intel that at least one Cornell player is on A long. Spike still down. Sky flash does not go off well. No. Cornell is, is pretty across the board here. We've got one creeping up on C, one with spike on the uh, near the spawn on B mm -hmm. site, and then two on different parts of A, so I'm not quite sure what their plan is here. Maybe yeah. this is what they were discussing in their timeout. Yeah. Shadows traveling. Oh. oh, unfortunate. Could not have expected the chamber to be pushed up that far. And now the spike heads over to A site. The delay should give the Saints a chance to contest what they would like. But it looks like the Saints are gonna wait. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Spike going down. 3v4 for the Saints. Yes. Unfortunately, not getting any on that A side take. Difficult to j burst out of this little hole. Let's see how the Saints can do it. Just clinical shots from the chamber, chamber there. Three headshots, three kills. Round one. Last round before the switch. Money won't be perfect for the Saints, but they should get to buy a decent weapon for this yes. round. No money problems at all for Cornell after all the wins. Mm -hmm. Got some pretty good gun choices here. We've got three Vandals, what appears to be a Stinger, I can't really see that far, and a Judge, and full or partial shields. Everyone on the same side has shields, at least <laughs> in some capacity. Um, Blinded. Oh, yeah. we've got some intel from the sky that there's someone C long, but it appears again that Cornell is Cover going the, out. the stratified route. 
-hmm. And it's yeah. creeping up all of the map. Yeah, I'm trying to take space. A lot of yes. pushing on A, but the spike is nowhere near A, so likely to be a fake, at least for now. Baiting for the omen over in that corner. Oh, that yeah, it gets two with the judge. Wonderful. Really well done, Chicago there. The spike, remember, was over towards C the whole time, so it'll they'll get the plant out unless Del Delbo can interrupt them here with his bulldog. Spike planted. Spike. Got a four v two. Del Delbo up close to the bulldog, but dogging through. Oh, dear. One enemy remaining. Great trades for the Yeah. The fields will go down. We'll end the half seven five. Which is not that bad. That is not. That is not an. Un no, it's pretty. Bad. Yeah. Absolutely. Switching sides. No charges. Especially with the double initiator. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Back. Back side. How it is? Conversely, uh, Cornell has double sentinel, so they'll benefit a bit more from the defensive side. Yes. So both teams were were not I, had agents not ideally for ideally their, suited for their, for their side, roles. But now they are. Now which they will are. Will be an interesting uh, roster to see yeah. how that plays out. Yeah. Okay. It'll be all up to the players to, to make it work, and they'll be facing into each other's strengths. Looks like the Saints uh, were leaning towards A. Who will I spot first? It's a good place to go in the game, and it's just a killjoy on there. Mm -hmm. Talked about killjoy is a great defensive sentinel, though, so she should be well equipped to at least cause some damage. But the Cornell University with some aggression up mid early. They're closing yes. the door on the wow, Saints. Wow, they are flanking. Doesn't look like the Saints have any utility on the rotate, so they will get caught up with very soon. It appears that the Saints are mostly on site, so that flank is not going to be as efficient as they would have, as the, as Cornell would have hoped, mm -hmm. uh, as they come up A-long here, but... Spike Chamber on the flank, though, getting more Oh! Oh, that oh, was player standing. Maybe the flank did work, actually. Yeah, I think they didn't expect no, not that them quickly. to be that close at all. I mean, the plant was barely going down yeah. when everyone burst out. Excellent. Got Kago on screen here with some contemplative. Don't even stop that <laughs> shit. Definitely wondering what just happened <laughs> in that round. One moment they were creeping onto A site completely yeah. unopposed. The next, they're all dying. Very well strategized from Cornell on that round. Mm -hmm. No matter. Back into it. Complete eco round for the Saints. Cornell will buy as much as they can. The Saints haven't completely committed to a direction yet. No quick rushes on this round. Oh, looks like that omen on the Cornell Cornell's team has an off angle up on the side. Hopefully, it appears mm -hmm. that the Saints are not going that direction. So that off angle will not be put to use. Ooh. Oh, good shot from both. Just the shields for Chamber yes. working to his advantage there. And that is why economy is so important. Even if even if both, both sides in the one v one have you know perfect aim, you can still just make it out alive with those shields. Mm -hmm. Those two kills will allow the Saints to get a few weapons. Last player standing. Oh. oh, tricky position to be put in on yeah. Saints' behalf or Saints' position. That was that was tricky. Yeah, that was a tricky fight to take. Jeez, the different angles that were being shot at. Team Ace. You beauty. That's what I like to see. Saints will get to buy full guns this round, though. But it looks like 
one of the players for Cornell managed to completely save on that round and buy an operator this round. I don't believe the Saints will be expecting that. that so. will be tricky. Yeah, I should catch them by surprise here. The jet with that one. The jet with the op? Yeah, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're over towards C site, which none of the Saints are heading towards, okay. at least initially. Yes. See what happens. Oh, but it looks like the Saint oh, is no. going back there. Jets trap. Oh. Looks like they might slow peek it too. Oh, the jet's getting impatient. Oh, but now leg shot <laughs> and Saint is out yes, of there. Saint. Now we know that there is an operator on the opposing team. They will definitely play it very carefully mm -hmm. from here on out. All right, this oh. the Killjoys uh, grenade there. Swords oh, with two. All the little calls though. Planted. Talked about those difficult A retakes for the yes. Saints when they were on defense. Now it's Cornell in that position. Deploying drone. Got some util. Oh, and now we know where they are. Pago, the omen on omen violence. Revealing area. <laughs> Got that start there to see if. Oh no, this is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> omen realizes his. One mistake. enemy remaining. <laughs> Kijik with the training back though, and when the 2v1 yes. situation, Jet has the operator, so they will likely safe that. Yes, it. looks like the Saints are choosing to run away instead of staying and protecting the spike because there is no time for Canal to defuse. Very good match on both teams' parts, but the Saints just managed to beat him out this round. Mm. Luckily, the operator was not too impactful that right round, here. and now the Saints are aware of that, so. Now they just have to sort of mind game around and try to know where Cornell is going to send that. Because it's one of the strongest weapons. It is the strongest weapon for holding an angle. Sometimes. Yes. Looks like the Saints are going over towards C. Correctly, maybe identifying that they were going to move the operator away from C this round. So well done for the Saints. He is holding... Or, sorry. The jet with the operator is holding... Mid from standing ahead and is now rotating towards C potentially. Looks like they are questioning where to go. Yep, okay. So now the jet with the operator is on C site where uh, at least some of our Saints are. Saints have left the rain out on C to lurk though and sent everyone else over towards A, which is an interesting tactic. Yeah, so far it's working out. Just the kill joint A. The sky hasn't is leaning towards that direction, but it's slowly moving away. And the Reyna is now also repositioning. Got some shots on that jet and is oh. Yeah. That Killjoy should be able to delay long enough for a lot of our team to join though, so let's see if the same Blinded. Wonderful, we got a pit by a train from Dollar Dollar Bill. The really situation, the spike should be able to go down see what they can do with this. Jet has that operator, I believe. Not the ideal weapon for a retake. No. Oh, no chance. Extra top of the door set, but operator pays off. Getting one, trading back. 2v2. Oh, oh, double peek. And mm, that was very close. 180 to grab the Reina there. That was an unfortunate round for the Saints. Ultimate is ready. Their spike is diffused. Wait until I blind them to strike. Strategically very well played, but that Killjoy utility. We talked about the value of a defensive sentinel, and that Killjoy utility managed to really delay the Saints. And then they were rotated on uh, quick enough. A well played Killjoy can be just as valuable as the most aggressive. Uh, Duelist. Duelist. Sorry. Duelist. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look like the Saints are still able to buy it though. So, mm -hmm. back Standing to ahead. C. Recon dart on C. Found them. Find Very good lineup. Two, yeah. Oh, good lineup. Oh. 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 oh, not getting any. Very close on all three of those shots. Mm -hmm. Pidget gets one, but is traded. 
sounds like that Killjoy has been killed, which disables all of her uh, utilities in case I kill them. Yeah, Saints right, know you. that Killjoy likes to play here, so yeah. they run over here quickly. Smoke will go down and heaven and towards CT, and Spike will go down. 40 seconds on the clocks. Excellent for the Saints to get the Spike down. Numbers disadvantage here. Yeah, looks like that Sky Ultimate will reveal yes. more of them too. We'll oh, see that going on. Oh, oh, wonderful! That was. Oh, yeah, Kyle was grabbing another one. Excellent oh, flash from Dollar Dollar yes, Bill. Dollar Dollar Bill is on fire. There we go. Excellent pick on the jet operator. Good flash. Two, adding two more, getting a Wait, triple kill. Doing? Three K. Dollar Dollar Bill. We'll Excellent round. Saints, uh, that's uh, some of the energy the Saints need here. They were down 6-10, looking at possibly a 6-11 with a numbers disadvantage post plant, but yes. excellent for them to pull that out. Yeah, it looks like that puts the Cornell team with not enough money to buy, so they're going for almost a full eco. A couple shields picked up. Is no longer on a site, which mm -hmm. is interesting. Usually, yeah. um, people who play that is either Killjoy or Cypher they defend on, and they defend on that site every single round. Which that's good that that Killjoy is the first pile because yeah. it allows it allows the opposing team to not really know what their next move is. But uh, you know, that's not necessarily good. One for enemy team, remaining. Yeah. Cargo with the excellent Omen TP up into heaven, yes. getting one immediately and then trying to the second just now. Looks like Tijek knows where the Killjoy is going to be coming from, so it's a good condition to be holding. Yeah. Oh. They have the ah. yeah. excellent shots from Tijek. I think the Killjoy was likely not on A that round because they it was a full save round, so yes. she didn't have any of her oh, utility. Oh, that's so, so true, actually. It doesn't matter as much. Yeah. But excellent round from the Saints. It's an anti-eco round, so we, they're expected to win that one, but pulling that off flawlessly and in such a fashion will definitely be good. And it looks like it prompts a timeout from Cornell. Well done for the Saints. Maybe another one of those icing events. Yeah, there. yeah, they're getting those timeouts. Saints win two in a row. Cornell will call a timeout. And yes. So it worked out for them last time. They did manage to win some more rounds after that. Let's see what they do here. Saints have not used any of their timeouts yet this game. Yes. Not yet feel the need to. But also, yeah. Also, let's see what they are able to do with their opponent's timeouts here. Mood is a bit somber, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah, maybe focused is actually yes, the right Yes, that word. seems not like a, somber. yes. Nobody seems to have their head in their hands, as no. oh, as <laughs> sometimes seen. Yeah, that has happened before. We've cut to their cameras, and it's just oh, dismay. Dismay, hands and head, but yes. none of that at the moment. Just a bit of focus, a bit of quiet, yeah. individual sure. contemplation. Yeah, and Kay. we're back. Back scores eight ten. Looks like Kildra is on. So. Oh, hard push. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you can see that Tichek there is very confused as to what yeah. just happened. Jack gets two, though. Wow. Mm. That Spike is such down an interesting a. Yeah, four B2. method. Yeah, that Usually was... you do not play that aggressively, <laughs> especially at this level of, uh, at this skill level, but it seemed to have worked for mm -hmm. Cornell this round. Yeah. Probably will not be doing that again, but... Yeah, it's classic right out of the timeout. Yes. Just Let's gamble something, try it out, see what happens. It seems to be a, a pattern. They they tend to um, have a timeout and then do something really weird. So. <laughs> yeah. 4v2 and the spike is down. No one seems to be Last watching player it, though, standing. so we should be able to grab it. Yeah. Spike. He's got the spike. Omen is there and ready to... Strike? Oh, oh he dead. will not he's expect it. Oh. Oh. That will be a difficult angle to clear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can see the frustration from Saint, but ah. mm -hmm. good play from Corto. Yeah, excellent play out of the timeout there. Yes. Well, 
up the same, she'll still be able to buy again, though. But if we can look at the money, it is, yeah. Okay, so they're able to buy, and they should be able to buy even if they lose this round. So that's yes. good for me. Pidgeek might have some Need a issues. Drop. Thank you. Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> Need a drop. has been bought by Thank you. Yeah. So, nobody should have any problems buying at least a somewhat adequate gun next round, but... Quick rotation over to see. Soldier is playing on the site. Last time the Saints did this. Enemy. Soldier utility so really slowed them down. Yes. Thanks to that Sova, they know that he's here. And once they can uh, disarm and kill the Killjoy, uh, that will deactivate all of her utilities. Uh, well, there we go. Well done. So the Saints has grabbed two. And the spike goes down, but two quick kills from Cornell brings it back to a 3v3. 3v2. So it's a chimes back in with one though. No? Two like Pidgeek did not see that Reina, or no, the jet over there, but yeah. they are rotating back through. Um, George is ready for them. He has both of his shock darts. One enemy remaining. One. Great job. They know that she's in there. And like mm -hmm. it wonderful. It is done. Yeah. 4K for Zorts on that round. Great job. Yeah. IGL was not losing that one. No. <laughs> Back to 9-11. Money should be good on both sides. Um, Ultimate-wise, Reyna will have their ultimate, and many, most of the Saints players are two or three, all the Saints players are two or three orbs away. On the other side, we have three ultimates ready, however, Omen, Jet, and Killjoy. So that Killjoy ultimate could be really valuable in pushing some of the Saints off the site. Let's see how they use it. Smoke coming at the perfect time. Quick rotation back here. Killjoy is here with her ultimate. Let's see if the Saints can make it onto site. Chambers rotated. Sova drone. Oh. Killjoy is probably going to wait to uh, help help until she knows for sure that they are planning on planting the sea site. Yeah. But it looks like the Saints are not planting sea site. Going back A. Going back A. That sky appears to be rotating, maybe? Yeah, I, I believe. Or no, I believe they were spotted. This guy's just. Yes. Moving back side. Yeah. Getting a better man. Feeling better. Looks like the Saints are on Cover site, though. Planting. That killed the ultimate could become a problem now. Yes. Spike goes down. Initiated. Yeah, killed the ultimate down. Very heavily guarded there. Usually, when there's this many people left. Uh, one person can go and shoot the Killjoy ultimate and render it useless, but the hunt begins. Unfortunately, that was not able to happen this time because they had it very well guarded. Raid ultimate goes out and the fuse comes through. The oh Saints. That's gonna that pop. They're... Oh, that'll be painful for the Saints. They get they all the kills, kill but, them, but I mean that's match point for Cornell match at the moment. Point. Twelve rounds. They win one more, yes. they win the bet. That's what a, what a round to lose for the Saints. I mean, they did everything right. They got all the kills except they didn't hear the defuse and all the commotion. Well, they might have assumed that it was a fake defuse, which yeah. sometimes happens to sort of draw the, the attackers out because they know that uh, if they're able to defuse, it will end the round. So mm -hmm. sometimes the defenders will fake defuse the bomb yeah. and then... Uh, be able to shoot them once the attackers appear to. Yeah, it was a classic saying. Yes. Tactical shooters, however. Not a very true saying, but a saying nonetheless. Pros don't <laughs> fake. Pros don't fake. Pros don't fake. Pros don't fake. Pros don't fake. Oh. There. Yeah, onto the site. 4v3. More trades. Leave us in a 3v2. Spike will go down. Healing over here. A good start to the round for Saints. Let's see if they can close it out. Looks like they're pushing from the same angle. I believe Saint got some yes. last yeah, player lots standing of damage, gets but some hits on both of those. We've got dollar dollar bill left. One enemy remaining. Direction, Mile, which might be oh. which ready. Difficult, but the uh, jet appears to not know where dollar dollar bill is. 
Yeah, it's the fusing. Wonderful, there we go. Yeah, that was sticking that diffuse yeah, is, is, yeah, is bold there, but in that situation, it worked. Works out for the Saints, so I'm not gonna complain. Nah, it's 10 12. Looks like they're not gonna be able to buy this round for Cornell, so we should go. Should be just a few pistols for Cornell. Been trading rounds back and forth. If you look at the middle of the scoreboard there, no more than two rounds aside for either team this half, and so not a lot of money to be built up for either team. However, the Saints do need to be careful because if Cornell gets just one more uh, win in, one more round of win that they found in this match, um, there's another. However, if the Saints are able to bring it back up to 12-12, then we will go into overtime, which essentially just creates a second mini game within this game where you have to win two rounds get the same amount of credits every time the economy matters less so it looks like the Saints definitely oh, like one oh great shots from Saint. great shots from Saint uh, anti-eco round and that was a few ultimates yes. expended from the Saints so not ideal on that front but excellent to get that round and now yes. one more round and we're going to overtime folks or Cornell wins Either or way. Cornell wins. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For those of you who joined us for the other Valorant game earlier this week. Oh my goodness. Right. It was... <laughs> I, I, w I was just a spectator on that one, and that was agonizing. Yeah. An, uh, we went into about eight Indeed, rounds of overtime, and it was... Quite a few rounds. Final score ended up being 2019. You want to play? Very high score for a yes. Valorant game. So... The Saints, however, got a lot of practice in overtimes. Yes. Looks, Looks like the Saints are definitely being careful, pushing on to A here very quietly. Uh, they have not used any of their util, I, I believe. Mm -mm. As to not make noise and reveal their location. Yeah. But it does appear as though Killjoy has oh. uh, set up on this site, which might not be getting safe. Saints are thinking about a rotate back. Mm -hmm. Chamber is still here with the spike. Okay. Let's see if they put the. Looks like Cornell's on top of that already, being burned by the quick rotations. So no more progress is made. They run back. Let's see if Good the Saints shot. can identify. You're nothing. My ult's ready. Excellent shot. Sigic right in the middle, yes. disrupting the rotations for Cornell. Now they're looking back towards A. Smart plays. Let's see if they can that right now. Yeah, it was. One day. Yeah. The hunt begins. Well done. Oma going up to heaven. Let's see what he can do. So far, maybe thinking the other omen is up there. But we're going to put that up. Excellent Chicago. shots from the Saints. Yes, that was a very smart move because Chicago knew that uh, Sky, the opposing Switching Sky, sides. knew Overtime. where he was, so he had to teleport and then was able to make mm -hmm. that shot. That yeah, I can drop from the Saints. Bring us to Overtime. And we're back, guys. I'm already getting a bit of a flashback uh, yeah, from yeah, the last time I was here casting. Uh, oh. I can feel yeah. that works. my blood pressure rising. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Saints will start on the defensive side for overtime. Looks like Cornell, seems, as of now, has the spike down and it just seems to be spread out to gain some information. Saints are running yes. their classic two on A, one on C and B, and one in garage. Or the one in garage just moved to C, so classic two, one, two with the chamber trip in garage. They are leaving Spike behind, which is an interesting. Cornell has played so uniquely. I have not seen any of the other teams that the Saints have played do anything like this. This is very out of the ordinary, which sometimes can be helpful. It's it's against the norm and you know leaves the leaves our team wondering what's gonna happen next. Yeah, here you see it's paying off as the Saints yes. were taking all four over to A. The spike, which never actually was on A, can easily get to C in time, and the Saints are not gonna be able to get here in time to stop. 
Trap destroyed. That chamber trap is destroying garage, so the, and spike goes down. So the Saints know now, but they're in a numbers disadvantage situation on this retake. No ultimates in overtime, unless they get quite a few kills. All basic abilities. <laughs> Jet with three in this round. Oh, Set back, but last player oh. standing. That was close. One before situation for Saint. Gets one. Oh. And the spray does not pay off. First round on the board for Cornell. If they win this next one, they win the map. Switching sides. Second map point. Match point. Of the match. Third map point in the match, actually. Um, let's see what they can do here. The Saints finished off their attacking side really strong with three in a row. So they feel, they'll feel pretty comfortable on the attacking yeah, side, but the pressure is on them. If they win this, another overtime period begins. If they lose this, they lose the map. So let's see how they can handle that kind of pressure. are full rushing speed, but the Jet once again has an operator. This is not good news for the Saints. But they do know that she's there. She's got a blind. Oh, and she's down. Is traded. That's good. Operator going over to the side of the Saints. Uh, Saints could not have expected the operator to come out in overtime. No, you only allowed 5,000 credits, so getting an operator involves sacrificing shields, shields and yes. utility. And if you die, <laughs> you give an operator over to an enemy player so with full shield and full utility. Yeah, getting out of there real quick, but instantly shot. Source of troll trade them out though. Nine health though for the Sova. Recon dart out. Ooh, Destroy but it, but spots too. One enemy oh, oh, fantastic! Ooh. They did not realize that their positions were revealed. Yeah, what incredible shots. We are once again Switching at sides. overtime. This overtime. is this is very reminiscent of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is how it starts, guys. <laughs> oh. Keep track of them. Pop Second overtime popcorn, period. Get yeah. some water. Might be here a while. Yeah. Thankfully, the Saints, well, both teams don't have to worry about their economy at all. Um, it resets to 5,000 creds every single overtime, so that's not something that they have to worry about, but mm. unfortunately that means that even uh, if, if the Saints choose to strategize, they can't. Cornell continuing to spread out and lead the spike, but this time it does not pay off for them. First blood goes to Dollar Bill Bill on the sky in mid. Now the spikes pick Take back flight. up to see where they go with it. Like they are rotating over towards C long. Mm -hmm. Smart rotate. Where nobody no, is. None no one for the Saints, Saints is on are. C. Yes. They'll be there shortly. They should reach the site at around the same time. Yes, and they do know that they are that yes, they are. there Teleport's now because ready. of that sky flash. Mm -hmm. Ah, great! They blinded. Oh, one enemy oh, wow, that was some great Spies shots down. from Pitchek there. See. Excellent oh. shot from Pitchek, but it's traded. And say trades. Excellent round for the Saints, though. Very good round. Some Excellent hero shots hero. from Pitchek there. Yeah. That was, that was just... Switching sides. Excellent shots Smooth backed up. Yeah. Smooth as butter. Excellent shots backed up by some very clean training that they're there at the end to finish it all off. And now, Saints have their first map point of yes. the map. See what they can do with it. Will the jet opt for an operator? It looks like no. It looks like they learned their lesson <laughs> after that one. They yes. did get a kill, but they gave over that operator, which ended up being more harm than good after they were traded. Looks like we've got a very evenly distributed uh, uh, loadout here. We've got, got vandals and full shields from all sides except for one phantom, but that's, again, essentially the same. Hmm. Same idea. Just ever so slightly different. Uh, Kill Peak will spot back. quite a few. It looks like Ooh, Cornell is not rotating not, yet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a little. I got him. That was. Hold a little bit, but that was almost good. Almost a bit of a whip, but yep. not quite. Spike will go down. 40 seconds on the clock. 5v4 situation in favor of the Saints. Yes, so Omen smokes have dissipated, mm -hmm. leaving both of those entrances open. Looks like they are all right there. All of Cornell has decided to do this. Spot blinded. Oh, the jet. Or, sorry, the sky. 
revealing area. One enemy remains. Ah. Great. Oh, and the Saints have won this round. Good job. Well done from the Saints to pull it out in overtime there. Backs to the wall, facing multiple map points in a row. The Saints rally and take the map. Well, well done. Very well done. Okay, we should be you should be with us again shortly for game two, but we're gonna go to a little bit of a break. Yes.
Welcome back. My name is Cyrus. And I'm Vivian. We're joined for the second map. It's on Breeze this time. I believe this is the map pick of Cornell University. I don't believe our players enjoy playing Breeze that no, much. No, I don't so think they do. I've heard them complain <laughs> about it before. <laughs> so it should be an interesting one. This team's picking up their map pick in game one, if you weren't with us. It looks like uh, running some... A lot of similar roles, but some different ones. Bliss still on that omen. Uh, Catfist moving from that uh, Killjoy to the Viper. Uh, Saint still on the chamber. Zorts is still on the Sova. Tijik looking like they want the Reina still. Blitz still on the jet. Blizz? The Liz still on the jet. That's Oh, we have Blizz and Bliss yeah. both on the same team. That's yeah. not confusing at all. Nope. Lilac on that sky, but it looks like Dollar Dollar Bill moving from the sky to the sage. Yes. Looks and like, but might ooh. might change, actually, as Tijik is hovering Viper now. Yes, yeah, so it looks like we've got some uh, indecision on the Saints' Select part. Your um, agent. Dollar Dollar Bill tends to play very aggressively, so um, tends to not play sage as much, but does very well on her nonetheless. Um, Looks like Tijek has locked in as Viper, not as a duelist, but instead as a controller, which is mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, Viper is really important on Breeze. Yes. It's hard to play competitive Breeze without a Viper, and I believe no one else on the team can play Viper and is experienced with their utility. So Tijek yes. picking that up. Viper still allows for a lot of aggressiveness. Yes, yeah, so especially on this map because it is just so wide open. Mm -hmm. You know, so really having some of those artificial walls there helps the team out yeah. significantly. And yeah. it looks like they are being matched by uh, the previous Killjoy on Cornell's side as well. So that's good that we have a Viper on each team. Yeah, yeah, that's a crucial map. Otherwise, both teams also having a chamber, another really important agent on this map. Um, so it's on that Sova. We talked about the importance on Haven. It's probably more important on Breeze mm -hmm. and more beneficial to have a Sova because that recon dart can really clear out lots of space with the wide open sights on Breeze. Yes, Sova is very versatile. You can use him on sites with uh, very small enclosed spaces but also wide open spaces just because you know that recon arrow can really it can be used on any type of map so that's, that's a useful that character works. to play no matter what. Mm -hmm. Looks like mid control taken early for Cornell. Toxins going up. They're starting on the attacking side. Stains are once again starting on defense. That early kill on B though should allow them the site. And we see that uh, Viper wall in action there. You know, it, yeah. it's really just Spike it's planted. creating barriers between the teams, which is. You know, that's useful on sites, on on all sites, but specifically on this one, yeah. like we said earlier. Oh. Close, but Last player standing. Three quick kills for Cornell, 1v4 for Cago. Oh, oh. alright. It looks like he was unfortunately matched with... Uh, just too many people, not when enough time. You teleport, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes Difficult situation to win a 1v4 at any point, especially on a pistol round. So. Hey, looks like we're going into this second round. Should see another complete save from the Saints. Find as much as they can for Cornell University. Saints are gambling Focus with now. all the players over here on the A site. And it but looks it. like that gamble might not be uh nah. Oh, an interesting play from the Saints. They don't typically do things like this, uh, but this is something that Cornell was trying to do in the last game, and it worked pretty well. Oh, but that chamber, Cornell's chamber is back there. Yeah, but they picked them off, 15-1. Right, yeah. But now they have that intel. That oftentimes on a save round, it's important to run as a pack and just try to mix things up like this. Yes. So running yeah. something wacky like that. Yes, trying something that isn't necessarily risky. Mm -hmm. Especially something where everyone can move together. Because pistols aren't the greatest weapons, but if you have a bunch of them all together, they can be easily oh. rifle. Last player standing. Yes. Just clean up for Cornell. Better weapons. They knew where the Saints were at that point. They were in a choke point and just getting all blocked. 
worth really saying. It's not managed to get more than that first kill. Completely successful on table now. Zero two, but now the Saints will be able to buy all of the weapons they would like here. Cornell's still on that bonus round. Looks like Cornell happy to stick to B one more time. Saints are on the site though this time. So yes, they better. are much more evenly distributed here. There. Mm -hmm. Jets on site. Oh, tricky Maybe. situation that Viper. Yeah. That recon bolt though, allowing Source to get one through the Viper wall. Clean yes. headshot on another down, is traded. 3v3 situation. Spike has not been planted yet. It's going down now. Spike planted. Very even lineup here. Oh, and it is now a 3v2. Yeah, Kago with the excellent shots. Yes. Cover going out. Looks like the Saints do not quite know where Cornell is. Oh, but very remaining. clean headshot on Kago's part. Mm -hmm. Very 2v1. Kago with the blind, but not capitalizing on that. 1v1. Oh! Oh, difficult, difficult outcome for Kago there. Ah. All the tools to succeed, just getting a bit unlucky with that spray. Yes, that jet did a strange um, dash into the wall, which probably yeah. threw Kago <laughs> a little bit off guard. <laughs> yeah, it definitely threw me off guard. Yeah, me too. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. But Liz is absolutely popping off on this map. 8-0 yes. oh in the first three yes. rounds. Coming alive on Breeze. Ooh, it looks like the full stack on B was not very successful. The Saints are now rotating yeah. over towards A. Saints stacking on two pistol rounds and getting it wrong both times. Yes. Just flip of the coin. Mm -hmm. Luck of the draw. Cornell is planting. Saints with one. Oh. Nope. Saints with the headshot there from Kago, but not getting the kill. That jet is very low. Yeah. Healing up, though. Gun here. Cover going now, the difference this round is that the Saints do not have a healer, while Cornell does have Sky, who can heal all of her teammates simultaneously, but cannot heal herself. So that is that is a very useful character to have. Uh, and we were very we were evenly matched with them last round. We did have Dollar Dollar Bill on Sky, but uh, who is this time playing Reyna? So yeah, looks like uh, Saints will manage will lose that round, but they did manage to pick up three. If you're with us for the first map, we talked about that magic number three when it comes to the Valorant economy. So the Saints getting three in that round on a full eco round will be good for them. Looks like Cornell is looking towards A this time. The Saints will have guns and therefore are much more spread out this round. Let's see where first contact comes. Looks like it's going to be at mid there. Shots fired, no result yet. The omen smoke will go down. Block. Just the chamber on A site gets one, but it is immediately traded off. There's that Viper wall coming in handy again. Splitting up that that uh, mid region there. 50-50. Quick kills back and forth, and we're in a 3v2 in favor of the Saints this time. That omen is really low, and just like you said, with no sky, One enemy no remaining. or Sova, no way to heal up. But that was all about getting one. And Zorza with the final one, and the Saints are on the board. 4-1. They'll be happy to get that. Yes. Yeah, it's always good. The Saints have found themselves stuck in ruts before, but have also found ways to get out of them. So I, I, I have faith that they'll be able to at least evenly match Cornell in some capacity here. They were able to come back from a pretty nasty drought last round. Uh, six, six rounds of losses and then went into overtime and, and won. So I think that 
we definitely have the the capacity to come back from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Breeze with its wide open sights. Yes. And sight lines is very good for the attacking side. You want to play? Let's play. Boys and orb admitting. Let's. Dog Del Bill with the first blood. The Silva ultimate shit coming out. Looks like it maybe caught the jet that was immediately healed back up by the sky. Cornell has not been very aggressive yet this round. They've they've not pushed up onto site yet. They are sort of lingering uh, back on B site, Tell and we have Chamber. It looks like over on mid. So uh, they have not decided to push onto site yet, but it looks like that's what they're doing right yeah. now. Execute onto B. Just hit here on the Viper. Oh, very yeah. good position. Yeah. Cornell was not expecting Tidjik to be there. One enemy oh. remaining. For the Saints. New fire under themselves after putting that first on the board. Great now work. they grab a second one. Yes. They'll be happy with that one. Tidjik was just facing some difficult executes onto that B side, dying, getting peaked from multiple angles, just having a tough time. So getting that good side hold two person spray down will be very good for them. Deep. Looks like they're going over towards A this time. They'll meet three players for the Saints, so well chosen from the Saints. Ooh. Cornell does know that Omen is there oh. and is oh. From our pr from our perspective, it doesn't look world. like that was a very good play, but we have to remember that uh, Omen was was not able to see any of the characters there. So just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've got this Viper alt here, which uh, not only creates a big cloud of, of basically a gigantic smoke, but also. Uh, <sighs> Decreases the health and uh, defense of the opposing team remaining. Yeah, action on the shots from Dollar Dollar. Yes, looks like. In the 1v1. Time is Neither ticking, Neither the though. Omen nor uh, Dollar Dollar Bill know where the other is. The Fake defuse, potentially, or... Oh, no, great job, but though. not enough time. Yeah, if he'd stuck it and gotten to half, he would have been able mm -hmm. to pull that off. But oh, unable to save the... Yeah. Vandal there, which is unfortunate, but Saints have lost a few rounds to time recently. Seems to be somewhat of a struggle of theirs to execute the things under time. Yes. It's a hard thing to get right. And then when that pressure is going, when the spike is beeping faster and faster yeah. and faster, <laughs> it's just hard to. The audio definitely does out. not help. <laughs> Looks like that chamber is. should have their ultimate, I believe. Yes. Yeah, Saint has their ultimate. Yes. Viper also has their ultimate for the Saints, though, so that should help with the B site defense. Instant ultimate from Tijek and Dog Dog Bill with the operator kill. Well done. On the jet. Feeling safe. Here we have Dollar Dollar Bill taking a shot in the dark as Omen blinds. Owen blinds him and you know, he wastes one of his very precious operator shots. Take flight. So good go. Revealing two agents there. Oh Ooh, good shot from Dollar Dollar Spike Bell. Down, oh, good there. Excellent charts. peek with that operator. Yes. Haven't seen Dollar Dollar Bill pull up the operator yet for St. Lawrence, but he's making it work in this round. Absolutely. Up close. Oh, fantastic shot from Tijik. That was just pure reaction time. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds left. Using that Viper ultimate to completely block off this main entrance to the mm -hmm. B site. Will Sky be able to plant before the time is up? Mm -hmm. 
Looks like it looks like she's just saving this round. Yeah. If I'm being one before situation viper ult on yes. SB. It's just really difficult to do anything here. She's just going to hide. And the Saints win to time. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like this guy's also on six health, so Yeah. <laughs> difficult to make anything happen yeah. there. Saints getting a few rounds under their belt after the early 4-0 deficit. Mm -hmm. Two rounds is not not a hard number to come back from. No, absolutely not. And it looks like the money is not looking great for Cornell either. No. So looks like we've got three sheriffs, a classic, and one vandal mm -hmm. from the that hero top frag. vandal, if you will. No prisoners. Mm -hmm. All relying on that jet, who's been yeah. so successful so far, but a lot's riding on them to get a few kills with that vandal. Mm -hmm. Cornell doesn't even have shields for the most part. They have mm -hmm. the jet with full shields, and then uh, one, I didn't quite catch who, but one with light shields. But that is not sufficient <laughs> against the I Saints' full stack mm -hmm. there. A lot of utility expended on A side. The Saints are almost all here, and ro the rest are rotating over. Yes. Ooh, one one enemy shot. remaining. Four quick kills. Spike it's just the jet on the vandal, and they fall. Long. Not able to be the hero that round. Um, almost tied up, folks. Four or five for the Saints. Getting some rounds under their belt. Let's see what the Cornell decide to do. They have a commanding lead, no longer. Saints are only down by one round. Okay, mm -hmm. looks like Corral has not decided where to go yet. Spikes for the mid, heading towards B side for now, but Dog Doll Bill with Heading quick hell on B side with that operator. Really making that work. We have two of our agents with their ultimates. I believe it is Dollar Dollar Bill and Omen Kago. Mm -hmm. uh, so that could potentially come in handy. Yeah, three ultimates have to the chamber. Oh, so wonderful. As well. Yes. Oh, operator. I'm not sure where that bullet went. It looked like it was right on him to me. And the quick burst onto the A site should allow them to get that spike down. Saint is here, up close, hasn't revealed spike his position planted. yet. So we're looking to get a sneaky piece. Yes. Cornell does not know that he's there. Pitchick with one. Oh, this is a very good position here. Let's we'll trade that back with the Vandal. And it appears that Cornell has left their spike unguarded. So yeah, they're gonna try to. They have a, like now they have a Viper here. lineup. Oh. Last player standing. Yeah. Oh. Well strategized from very Cornell. Well they know this map very well with their Viper lineups. For those of you that weren't able to follow what was going on, Viper has some damaging abilities that can, she can throw over quite a long distance. Yes. And so she retreated really far from the site and then had known exactly where to aim those to throw them onto their spike plant. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nearly impossible then for them to defuse. Looks like we're heading into a timeout here. Yeah, attacking timeout. So it looks like Cornell calling that timeout yeah. after winning a round. Which is interesting. Usually you want to keep that momentum going after mm -hmm. a, good, a particularly good round. So not quite sure why they called that, yeah. but definitely giving our Saints time yeah. to regroup, recuperate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll appreciate this timeout. Looks possible like the Cornell coach saw something they didn't like, even though they won that round. I mean, they mm -hmm. did have a severe numbers disadvantage and yeah. won with the Viper lineup. So well done, but it's not the kind of way you yes. want to win a round. Might have something to do with that uh, econ disparity there from, you know, Jet having mm -hmm. all the creds and everyone else having to resort to sheriffs and no shields. That yeah. might not be the best way to play the game. So that could potentially be what that is. Mm -hmm. Looks like the Saints are also getting bit of a pep talk talking to. Mm -hmm. Kanan, the Saints coach, was not available in the lab today, but he's joining them remotely and is definitely telling them a lot of things during that timeout. Here. Looks like Cornell's going for early mid control. Two open smokes out. 
very heavily played on mid right now. Oh. Blocked by that Viper Wall. Mm -hmm. Just keeps coming back around. The Viper Wall is so important. Absolutely. The Double Dial Bill with another op kill. Really showing a lot of value on this operator. Yes. One of the most expensive guns in the game, Toss but one of the most efficient as well. Absolutely. Very specialized weapon, but there's nothing yes. better at what it does. Spike, Spike will go down. Four v four situation quickly Ooh. turned into a. Ooh, very good shot from Tijik there. Wow, that was impressive. And again, using that util, the the damaging Boys util there. Mm -hmm. Flush them out a little bit. Kago with Ooh, one. Oh, he does not realize. Oh, oh. incredible reaction time. Oh, just fantastic round. Yeah, he was gonna be kicking himself for missing yes. that spray, but what can you do? Valorant is a game about hitting your shots, and he did not hit his shots there. Oh. Tijek's reaction time is just unmatched. We've seen this time and time again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just two pretty incre impressive reaction time yeah. plays in that one round. It's 5-6. This will be the last, last round of the half. In last the round half. before swap. No need to save anything. Buy no. everything. Buy pistols. Buy all the util. We see several of our Saints considering going Operator, but ultimately it looks like just Dollar Dollar Bill will be the one. Uh. It looks like the money is not going to work out for Cornell. No, not at all. We've got a pistol and heavy shields, mm -hmm. a, a classic so pistol, which is a free gun. Uh, you don't have to spend mm -hmm. any money for that. That is the one uh, you on the very play, bottom of the let's screen. Play. Yeah. So that that is one of the least effective guns in the game. It's, it's not a bad gun. It's just, you know, it's yeah. not what you want to be having when you're up against an operator. Absolutely. Okay, so that sky util has revealed uh, Kago's position there. Mm -hmm. Kago playing up close though. Coming oh, to oh wonderful! Hitting one. Yes. Spammed Ooh, right after the viper. Through the s spraying through the viper. All. Oh. Well done. Tries to very get the TP close. out, but very valiant close. effort. Well done to get two there from Kago. Oh, very nice wall bang there from sh uh, uh, Zorstra. That jet's trapped. They know where they are. Almost a bad peak <laughs> timing, but it works out for them. And that's the Saints getting that last after going down 0-4, winning six of the you next failed. eight no. rounds to bring us to 6-6 six, six at the half. We are all tied up, folks, heading into the second half. Switching sides. See what the Saints can do with what this do attacking say, side. Ready to stretch your wings. Yeah. The jet for Cornell really doing a lot in yes. the first half. 14 kills in 12 rounds. It's incredibly impressive. Mm -hmm. On the other side, four of the Saints players are within a kill of each other. So a very team effort yes. from the Saints. Yes. It's interesting to see how this uh, lineup here is playing out because even though we do have a few character differences on either side, you know, both teams have a Viper, both teams have a Chamber, uh, and then both teams have an omen. There is that slight difference that uh, the the Cornell team does have a jet while we have a Reyna, and mm -hmm. our team has a Sova while theirs has a Sky, which seems pretty different, but in reality isn't. The uh, the jet and the Reyna are both pretty self-sufficient duelists there, uh, and then the Sky and the Sova are both initiators, which is helpful for gaining intel. And really, the only difference is that. Our Reyna is able to heal herself while the Sky is able to heal her whole team. So it's really just a matter of healing there. Mm -hmm. Three quick kills for Cornell though to open up that pistol round. Hard deficit to come back from this pistol round, but the Saints are going to try. Jet's up close. Yeah, is not cleared. Oh. The Viper's up close. Oh, it was not cleared. No. Just sorts of left. Unfortunate. We've got a Sky blind, which gives away. Sorcerer's position there. Oh, oh, good attempt round. on yeah. Viper there, but... Yeah, flawless round from the Saints to start off the half, really setting the tone. This will mean they'll be able to buy, and the Saints will not. So let's see what they can do with this. Mm -hmm. It looks like Cornell is not spending that much, though. They're Oh, never mind. They just haven't had the chance to, but... Uh, it looks like some of them are opting for ghosts, bulldogs, uh, a guardian there. But yeah. they are spending a lot of their creds. This might yeah. not be the most 
well, efficient use of their yeah, money. It's good for them to spend all their pets here. The weapons they're choosing are no specters on this map. Specters are <laughs> range some yes. deep bulldogs and guardians are much better. Mm -hmm. Additionally, it looks like that jet wants her the operator round three. Yes. And so does not want to buy this round. Operator is very strong on this map on mm -hmm. defense. Very soft and dollar dollar bill. That Viper utility clearing off the site so that the Saints can get onto it. Looks like the spike will go down. Dog Dog Bill with a one. With a classic. Kitchen getting killed. Bring it back to a 4v4. Double shock dart to maybe clear out some of those backside areas. Oh, two player two agents coming right up on the spike there. Viper gets really low but does manage to survive and so the Saints will not get that magic number three. No, unfortunately not, but still a good attempt. Yeah, good attempt. they got two of them with pistols into mm -hmm. quite a few rifles, so they'll be mm -hmm. okay with that. One. But I believe that means the jet, yeah, will have operator and full shields this mm -hmm. round. Should be really Dangerous strong. combo. Oh, yeah. but it looks like she's opting for a vandal yeah. instead, so maybe this is an attempt to have that operator later in the game. And it looks like the Saints are able to full buy this round. Uh, all Vandals and Phantoms and full shields all around. So yeah, going for that operator. Yeah, oh, there. there she goes. Yeah. And full, full shields. shields. Wow. Yeah. It's just so strong in this map. She'll take that A peak and really make it very difficult for anyone to peek onto A. Mm -hmm. it looks like the Saints are avoiding that for now. A little bit of a log jam there in mid. Yeah. <laughs> Clear enough in no time. Here comes that Viper th from Cornell's side. She knows that the Saints are there, but unfortunately, she does not realize how many, and yeah, she is gone. That gives the Saints the numbers advantage. They're moving straight yes. into the Jet, who has the Operator here. Yes. I don't th believe they'll ever think that the Jet is there. Cover going out. Oh. Okay, they found the Jet. Oh. Oh. They managed to get a few hits on her, but... Unfortunately, she is still alive. Oh! Oh, wow. Jet really playing with the Vandal in there really well. Difficult time for the Saints. Get the numbers advantage, but they just cannot clear that Jet out of that really awkward angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like when we saw that fiddling around with guns, uh, that jet had someone buy them a vandal, dropped it, and bought an operator. It's so actually ah, taking advantage money. of that yes. infusion of cash to be able to have access to both weapons at the mm. time there. Looks like the Saints are taking a timeout here, maybe to regroup, strategize a little, and then mm -hmm. get back in the game. Yeah. Yeah, after losing those first three rounds, they're in a bit of a deficit again, but mm -hmm. it's sort of maybe a consequence of a pistol round loss is some difficulty in the start of the round but nothing they can't come back from at all though they I believe they might have another save round again though so we might be looking at another 4-0 hole to start the half but the Saints came back last time Let's see what they could do this time like more about coming getting back in right now Let's see what the Saints decide to do on that timeout on attack inside spikes heading towards B but most of the Saints players are pretty spread out oh. they're right moving here. over towards B now looks like they are full stacking there none are attempting to go through mid mm -hmm. oh but ahead. Sending a Sova Recon arrow. I did not quite see where that landed, but oh, it looks that like that kind of landed back sight. Interesting. On B. What a one. Oh. Very impressive. Oh dear. Oh. Spike really excellent. B. Blind from the omen. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, unfortunate round for the Saints. A 4K <laughs> from that chamber there. That mm -hmm. that is impressive, but yeah. unfortunately, not our chamber. <laughs> was an eco round for the Saints. Yes. So now they get their yes. full now weapon, got, get yes. their full shield. And it looks like they want to head towards A. Another interesting lineup from Sova here from, from Zorstra. 
Yeah, Zorts are really knowing all of their lineups on this map. Let's see yes. where this one lands. I'm excited. So the lineups really are down to the pixel. If you get even one little bit of it wrong, it can it can completely just ruin the entire expedition. Yeah, Viper Molly will delay a lot of the Saints action. Yes. But their friendly Viper Wall should allow them on to site if they wish, but it looks like they just want to move back. Mm -hmm. Looks like maybe they're rotating. Cornell with a lot of control over mid lane. Mm -hmm. That sky tucked up really close. Uh, but it looks like the Saints are avoiding that for now. Keddy looking back towards A with the spike while well, two of them fake towards B. Uh, oh. But Tichik is shot in the back of the head by that sky. No, that was dollar dollar bill, which still, we yeah. still we still have Tijek uh let's see, where did he go? Artijek is still on A site, yeah, yeah. it looks like, which is a good thing to get for Blitz with that That's operator kill. There. Now yeah. Tijek is gone. Yeah. <laughs> 4v2 situation. Yes. That's on Saint. Oh. Of falls. Just Saint. Spike it, is it down. It appears that they don't know where he is, but oh. unfortunately, it's just too many people and not enough time. Yeah, they had enough people to watch all the possible places yes. that he could see. So. Jeez, mate. Especially the ones that were visible in this fight. My with that diffuse, the Cornell Sky will get their ultimate, which will be real useful in the next round. The yes. Saints have not managed to get around on the board on their attacking side. Here. Attacking sides are often the most difficult when you're not very familiar with the map, mm -hmm. and Breeze is not a map the Saints like to choose. So, no. having some difficulty on the attacking side. Getting some progress done, but they've gotten close a few times. Just the last mile is a bit hard. But looking towards B again, limited but not limited weaponry, but not all pistols. We have that Spectre or Tijik. Looks like that chamber from Cornell's side is peeking right up onto the Saints, but was traded. No, it wasn't traded yet. Managed not to get traded away, yet. Yeah. Oh. Tijik with that Spectre doesn't manage to get them in time. Gets the them Spectre pretty low. The Spectre is an interesting choice on this map. Yeah. It appears to... It's to working. Yes, Tijik is yes. in the one place on, on this map where it does work, but... Spike down yeah, mid. but is, is traded. That operator is, is really strong. Last player standing. Yowza. 4v1 situation. The dodge is the blind. Oh. Doesn't manage to hit the shots. And that brings us to map point. Max Six point. rounds in a row for Cornell. Smart. Really showing Go how well they know this whistle. map. Saints are going to need a pretty major comeback here if here. they want to win this, this specific game. Mm -hmm. One mistake and it goes to Cornell. Mm -hmm. But this isn't unlike something we've done before, so maybe we can do it again. Yeah, I'll see what they can do here. I have faith. Nowhere to run! Of course, they're using that alt there. Yeah, I'm not tagging anyone, unfortunately. It's not no. ultimate. Sometimes the Sova ult is not necessarily with the intent to kill, but but just to gain intel. So and to clear out. Either way, space. yes, exactly to to get the other team to move out of the way, but not always. Spike down A. On to B. That spike is still on A though, and they I think they might have yes. heard that plant. A little bit of. Oh, but with that flank. Ooh, the jet does have her alt out, but has switched back to the Revealing operator, which is interesting, but will be revealed by this recon Found arrow here. <laughs> Last player that standing. That flank's playing off for Kago, but he goes down, down 1v2 a. situation. Jet with that operator. That teleport was audible, so left. will his position be revealed? Doesn't look like it. Stealing sight. Ooh. Omen is now blind. Cover going out. J 
Jet is not aware Has of where spike. he is. Has the spike. But oh, yeah. that unfortunate Defenders win. operator oh. action there. Mm -hmm. Valiant effort from Cargo to try to fall around back to the Saints, but ultimately a 7-0 half for Cornell will bring them to seven, so six thirteen and win the map. We're going to a game three, folks. We'll. See.
<laughs> Take that headset off. Okay. And we're back. Uh, welcome back to map three. It's going to be Ascent. Saints won the first map, their map pick. Cornell won the second map, their map pick. And we're back. My name is Cyrus. I'm Vivian. And we're jumping straight into Agent Select. What do you see? Well, I am seeing that we only have one duelist this time. Which, actually, no, that's not different from the other times. But it looks like we are playing a Killjoy, which has been played before by the Cornell team. But mm -hmm. um, we, have not, we have not decided to play a Killjoy yet, which can be very useful on Ascent. There are some very good setups there for C-Sight. Or, sorry, not C-Sight. Um, B-Sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yes. a very strong pick on B-Sight. Yes. Uh, it looks like Kago is once again going Omen. Mm -hmm. It was a classic for Kago. Very strong on that agent. Mm -hmm. Same with Zorza on Sova. Mm -hmm. Mixing it up, though, with Tijik on Breach. And that is locked in, so that's final. Yeah. Tijik usually runs the Reyna, the duelist for our team. Select but your mixing agent. around a little bit with the mm -hmm. controller Viper. Yes. And on Breeze and now the Breach on Ascent. Breach is incredibly powerful on yes. Ascent. Though. Breach, Breach is another one of those very um, aggressive uh, initiators, though. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, yeah. it's not, that's not that surprising. Yeah. That's, that's a good pick on this map, too. Mm -hmm. Looks like, otherwise, only the KO is new. Mm -hmm. KO is a, is a sort of back to basics agent. Yes. Has an, a knife that suppresses ability usage for almost 10 seconds. Yes. Pretty powerful. And it also reveals which enemy agents are yes. within the radius of the knife. He is so an initiator. Powerful, yeah. Very powerful initiator. Very powerful on this map. Mm -hmm. Has a Molotov and, uh, and two flashbacks. Yes. So sort of similar to, you know, your standard agent with those, those mollies there um, with Similar to uh, uh, Brimstone or Viper or, mm -hmm. you know, some of those other characters. And then c combining that other classic ability of Flash with that really unique, uh, technologically advanced knife mm -hmm. deployment there. Yeah. A K ultimate will also stop abilities, but will do so for a longer period of time with, re with repeated pulses. And will also mm -hmm. allow the KO to be only knocked down when they're first shot and not eliminated and they can be revived by their teammate. Yes, if you can't tell from his picture, he is a robot. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's not a normal agent. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what allows him to have that ability. It looks yeah. like Cornell <coughs> here is deciding to push on to a site. Interesting because most of them seem to be going through oh. mid. Oh! Oh! That was, that could have been a really good... Yeah. Not sure exactly. <laughs> angle from Kago there, but Spike planted. unfortunately it just didn't work out. Yeah, the Omen though was pretty Last slow, but they did standing. not expect them with that door closing. Oh. Excellent move. 1v4 for Saint. Oh, gets oh. one. One pick. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought that they got three. <laughs> yeah, one not, pick for not Saint. Not quite that magic three number yeah. yet, but no. that's all right. Yeah, it's a pistol round, so. Yes. First round of the game, not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Right Cut here. Out. Right here. Saints again going with the double initiator. Mm -hmm. And Cornell again going with the double sentinel. So just like map one, this will be a right tail of for the first half. Neither team really playing to their strengths. And then the second team, second half, both teams are playing to their area. strengths. So. Yes. So it's rough. Looks like they're he heading towards A, and the Saints have gambled incorrectly. Oh. Uh, the Saints will take that trade. They'll get that Spectre, but the Spike will go down on A. Mm -hmm. Difficult 4v4 retake, especially when there's just one gun is present for the Saints. Spike Interesting planted. advancement here is that neither team has heals. Uh, oh before, oh. we had a Sky on either team, which allowed for healing of the entire team, except for that, that one agent there uh, on both sides. And then on the second game, we had one Sky on Cornell's side. And now we have no Sky or Sage. So... If you're down, you're down. Can't use, can't use that. Phoenix can heal himself, but you know that's that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah. 
It also requires him to expend his Molly ability. Yes. Which is a pretty useful piece of utility. Yeah. And that, some quick kills from Cornell, ends that eco round. Just getting two kills again from the Saints. So the economy is not as bad as it could have been, but it's definitely still increasing for Cornell. It's enough for almost a full buy. Mm -hmm. Just a light shield on Kago. And it looks like, is Cornell doing a bonus round here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're going to keep their sort of semi-good weaponry. They're good but not great weaponry. Mm -hmm. And bring that into the next round. Allowing them not to damage their economy at all. They spent very little credits this round. Ooh, Sova revealing that Lots all of them there. are mid. <laughs> Standing ahead. Yeah, heavy mid control here. Using that recon arrow, but unfortunately it was destroyed before it was able to return any information. Cornell peeked into tree towards a site, but saw the wall was down, door was down, and kind of left it at that. Some aggression from Kago and Zorza, taking a bit of a advanced position on this A defense as Cornell walks into tree slowly. So like ships in the night, these two teams will pass each other. Let's see what Cornell can do with this hole. Ooh, it looks like we might have some confrontation here. Uh -huh. Cornell moving very thing. slowly, very yes. methodically. Ooh, but it looks like A site is where they are choosing to to, to dock their ship, like left. you said. Ships in the night. Yeah. Spike will go down. 5v5. Five 5v5 five five retakes are always difficult for the defending side. Mm -hmm. do. Get an early one, that's important. Three v one situation for the Saints. Oh no! Getting two though. Oh no! One v one. Just a ghost. And that top clock is Killjoy ticking. On. One Killjoy. bullet. Oh my goodness! That could have been so good. Wow! One v three. Four oh. Cornell's Killjoy. Wow. Excellently done. Just saving that round. Bring it, saving the economy for Cornell and bringing the Saints' economy to shambles. Yeah. It's 1926 here. <laughs> <laughs> Great Depression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 1932. Great 32. Depression. Dang it. Yeah. I'm not a history major, so. Saints, on this eco round, electing to stack B again, and <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> They're heading over oh. towards A. This happens every time. The fourth time this happens. They are over four on these 50 50s. So yes. Very unfortunate. Oh, up close. Oh. No more. Excellent. Classic right click. Very we'll good. Secure Zort's uh, rifle. Yes. Let's see what they can do with that. Careful now. Molly will go out. Oh, not able to get anything with that rifle, but didn't even say get one. One enemy remaining. Let's see if Kago can get a rifle here. Uh. Oh, potentially a full stick? Oh, oh. so close. They got, gr <laughs> got greedy there for the full stick. It would have been yeah. very cool if they pulled it off, but do get taken down at the last second. We have to remember that Kago could not see the chamber there, mm -hmm. so he had no way of knowing how no. close or far he was. So Pros don't fake. Pros don't fake. So Looks like that was a really good eco round for the Saints, though. Getting four kills above that magic number of three, so they have definitely Correct damaging the down. economy for Hornell that round. And now they get to buy actual guns. Ooh, fantastic headshot from Dollar Dollar Bill there. Mm -hmm. Just the reaction time is insane on on both uh, Tijek and Dollar Dollar Bill. They both have very good. Right there. Th that's a very good strength of theirs. Right mm -hmm. there. Some pings coming out. 
but as it looks like Cornell is engaging on A site. One enemy remains. Oh, three quick kills for the Saints. Spotting a. one more. They know where the last one is. Oh, so close. Aggressive peak, but easily turn it out. The Saints yes. are on the board. Saints are on the board. One four. They'll be excited about that one. Though it looks like Tijik is as stoic as ever. Yes. Can never tell with that one. <laughs> Saints will be happy about that one. Economy should you. be completely fine. Yes. And, but actually, it looks like it's it's it won't be completely fine. Be that chamber and the jet will have their ultimates, so mm -hmm. they will still functionally have a full buy here. But that money is not looking great, and that's because they got those four kills. You want to play? Even though they play. lost, the economy got worse for. Feeling that mm. Jen and Oh no. That was just a lucky yeah. shot. Pilger gets two while blind. Oh. Spike down. Really mid. difficult there. Good attempt from Kago there. Yeah. 2v3. Oh, Saint doesn't get any. Killjoy for Cornell with four kills. My ult's ready. Great headshot from Tijek yeah. there. Tijek in the 1v2. That Killjoy is low. Can he pull it off? Let's see what they can do. Has his ultimate. Yes. See if he invests it in this. And he will. Yes, he will. Oh. oh, what a shot from the Killjoy. So close. Yeah. Just, Tijik was just, I think, a little bit further out mm -hmm. on Heaven than he thought. He didn't think he would have been visible. And yeah, it looked like that was a... The KO was fully stunned yeah. and somehow managed to one-tap Tijik there, which is just so... Unfortunate it for is. the Saints, but it's incredibly unfortunate. It's just something you didn't. Yeah, I don't know how that chaos not hit. It looks like the ultimate was on. Mm, I think the he whole angled site. it just a little oh, bit. Must have been a little. Bit yes, too much. a yeah. little bit farther to the left than that KO yeah. was positioned. KO knife will detect some on A. But it, it looks, looks like, like they're, they're not run. pushing hard enough to utilize that. Oh, Phoenix Killjoy ult. Will go out. That's a strong peek, but he used his ult. Phoenix uses his uh, uh, reappearance ult. ult. He, he can he can sort of revive him. Oh, so close. Two players detained. <laughs> it's mm. unfortunate. Extremely. Yeah. Still getting two, Spike though. Planted. Looks like Kago is using his ult here. Where will he go? Looks like he's flanking. Yeah. Right there. But that it looks like the other omen is aware of his. No. Trick. No, he's not. Oh, oh no. Worthless. Hijik with a clean headshot, though. Yes. Still a 3v2. That time is ticking. Omen though. is incredibly low. Hijik with another one. Omen's low. They just need to. Stick yeah. that diffuse. Stick that diffuse. And yeah. This would be a very impressive comeback if Omen is able to pull this off. Not today, though. Will they go hunting? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Omen on low oh. health. Oh wow. Yes. Fish are getting that kill, but Omen did a really great work on there. Mm -hmm. It looked like the Saints might have survived with three. The Omen managing to get two kills puts a big advantage economy wise for that team. This time the Saints economy will not increase. So mm. Omen will be very happy with all their Omen's performance there. It looks like the Saints are I'll still pretty bro. well off in terms of what they have this round, except for we have one Spectre, which is an SMG instead of a rifle, which is, you know, it, it's not ideal, but it works. Mm -hmm. yeah. it definitely works. It's still fine. And just pistols, so. Yes. Flash. Phoenix flash there. Oh. KO flash. Excellent flash. Flash trade, and oh. they were from all angles there. There yeah. was just really difficult numbers advantage and that's two rifles for them to pick up in mid if we can get to them. Looks like Tijik is going to defend those. Blinding. Oh. Oh my gosh. Retreating back into Very the lucky omen. to not have died there. Yes. Yeah. Retreating back into the omen uh, smoke there. Very, very luckily placed. Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm. Clearing out. Oh, great shot. Last player Ooh. standing. Very One good headshot from the Saint. jet. Two bullets in the Vandal. They know where he is. They can't mm. get to the Vandals yet. Unfortunate. Wow, what a 
Brown from Cornell to pick up the win on the eco round. Just some clean headshots. The Saints sort of fighting into the pistols, mm -hmm. which is really where the pistols are strongest. So, Ooh, it looks like you know, Cornell's got themselves a full buy this yeah. round. Yeah, their save let them full buy, and winning that round means that, and killing everyone means that Saints will not be mm. able to buy that round. Hardly at all. We have some with classics and no shields. Yeah. Not a good situation. But Absolutely not. Oh man, we've got a guardian and a sheriff. Two two good guns. They're not great guns. Oh, and we've got we've really got to make use of our util here. Oh, fantastic shot from Dollar Dollar Bill there. That was just great. Mm. That flash letting the Saints get out with their yes. lives there. Could have been used to push harder, but uh, probably for the best that they did not. Good attempt with the classic there. Oh. Frenzy getting a late, but um, Lilac on the KO pulls three kills out though. Let's see what Tidger can do here on the Guardian. Oh, Ooh. see him running away. It appears that the other team did not see him, and he picks up a Vandal. Mm -hmm. Very good move. Ooh, they are rotating through their own spawn. Very with rapidly rotating. The Omen ult from Kago, yes. actually, with a quick or even ah. quicker rotate would be really valuable. Mm -hmm. Not an uncommon rotate to go through spawn, but still, uh, you know, not the most efficient necessarily. But it can be good to avoid oh. confrontation, conflict. Spike planted. Spike has been planted. Killjoy is making her way over to site very quickly. Hmm. We're not sure. Lilac over in that corner. Tijek no. Does Tijek no? Oh. Last player standing. No. I don't know if Tijek got that intel even at the end there. So Saints in a one day two. I don't believe he knows any of the players' positions. One enemy oh remaining. Oh, and he sees that head. Oh yes. Absolutely, super well done from Saint to win that 1v2 clutch. Great job from Saint here. Oh, clutch. <laughs> that should oh be that's the fire they need. The Let's see what the Saints can do with that. It's third round on the board, 3 6. It's still very much a possibility to get that even half. Yes. Yeah. Expected timeout mm -hmm. from Cornell sticking to their classic strategy. Yes. But that is eco rounds traded. That was an eco round with the Cornell one into an eco round that Saints won. So let's, let's both teams should have reason to celebrate right now. But mm -hmm. yeah. That icing strategy definitely worked on me. I can feel my heart rate going <laughs> down. Yeah, a bit of that excitement definitely yes. wears off. We can expect Cornell to do something weird after this round, uh -huh. get up to some shenanigans. Yeah, they absolutely love their out of timeout shenanigans. Yes. I'm just, I'm trying to even fathom what they could do this time, but <laughs> I don't. I don't think I it's don't possible no, to guess. No. You know, too many weird things they could do. Maybe they'll wait and spawn until the clock runs down. <laughs> yeah, maybe. They, <laughs> this, uh, Intimidation factor. Wait out the whole round and spawn. Yeah. They don't need to win that no, round. No, they don't need to. <laughs> it would be intimidating. And we're back. Let's see what they're up to. Looks like we've Time got out. Killjoy set up on a site here. Killjoy setups can be extremely valuable. Uh, some of her util is just like. Almost as almost as efficient as a sec as a sixth player, so mm. definitely has the potential to get kills by itself. Yes, I know I've been killed by a killjoy before, uh, by a killjoy uh, uh, sentry. Okay. Ooh! Uh, ah! Quick shots from the Saints player. Three, three, three or kills. Stole double Careful one. Now. Watch your eyes. Ooh, good down. blind. Well done for Dollar Dollar. Retreating though. back. Chamber's low as well, but he's getting yes. out of there. Ooh, Saint Ooh, picking one me. up. Really well done. Oh! Ooh, missing a shot, oh. revealing his location. That KO is low. Very even close, lower. but the KO is low, like you just said. Yes. Spike, Spike planted. has been planted, and the Killjoy ult might save them. Knock on wood, but it'll, it'll definitely help. Ooh, yeah. it'll, force, it'll force the player back into this back portion. Yes. Let's see what they can do with this information. Oh. Fortunately, they did not peek at the same time. So Bliss will get two 1v1s on 85 health, though. Ooh. 
They know exactly where he is. No utility. How will this work out? Oh, wonderful, My wonderful, wonderful. From dollar dollar bill. Yeah. 3k from dollar dollar bill. That gets them the ultimate for the next few rounds. Yes. That'll be a fourth round on the board for the Saints. Super well done from dollar dollar bill in that round. The Saints still have the potential to finish out with an even half. If they just win these next two rounds. Mm -hmm. Saint coming alive in this match, though, with 10 Yes, kills. absolutely. Yeah, very well done from them on the Killjoy. It's not an agent we've seen from them before. No. But they're really, really playing it super well. Mm -hmm. Excellent utility usage and really good gunplay. Yes. Classic 2-1-2 two two from the Saints. It's just the most efficient way to defend. It looks like the Cornell's spreading out a bit, but that spike is committing towards B, at least for the beginning of the round. Yes. And it looks like the remainder of the team... Ooh! Ooh! Spike Very down, fast B. reaction time, but unfortunately not fast enough. Dollar Dollar Bill on a bit of fire from that <laughs> last round, but... Yes. Works. They get a kill, at least go one for one. Mm -hmm. Omen spotted. Yeah. Seeing some new till from the omen there. Ooh. And we are now aware Cover of the jet's out. position as well. Ooh, kind of a risky move there. Oh. Some aggression from Kago, backed up by his teammates with two more kills though, so yes. super well done in mid line. Yes. Mid. That spike, which was committed over towards B. Is rotating back. Oh, but they thought better of it. Hmm. A lot of map control. Still on the table. The Saints content to sit in their sights and wait for Cornell to come to them. Though the two shots. 30 seconds left. One headshot enemy one. remaining. Ooh, great headshots. Fantastic headshot. Ooh, and with a wall bang on that KO there. Uh -huh. 3K for Titty Great job. Picking up a nice chair. Last round before the swap. And after a pretty commanding start. Four. Yes. After after Cornell. a 4-0 drought from on Cornell's side, we are now back up to just one behind. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Saints can do with their advantage here. Both teams are able to fall by. Both teams should be able to get a, a lot of a uh, little bit of utility lacking actually for. You want to play? Let's play. Ooh. One, but that's the KO. Oh. Yeah, that's that KO ultimate, so we'll be able to revive. Be revived. Able to be revived, yes. Yeah, it looks like he's coming up now, unfortunately. Mm. That brings it back to 4v4. Good KO ultimate. Looks like the Saints don't really have any idea of where Cornell yeah. could be. Yeah. Which is fair. They are very <laughs> spread out. Yeah. They're content to just oh sit no. here. I don't think he saw that he jet. He did not see the jet. And the jet did right not. Here. The jet had very good trigger discipline. Did not. Ooh. Is sneaking up over here on Sova. Oh. Ooh. But might use you too. Oh. oh like they're doing a dangerous time, yeah. tango <laughs> here. I'm not sure. <laughs> that jet's in their smoke. Gets one. Oh. oh, cannot get two. Would have loved to get two there. Yes. Get out of my way. Jet ultimate comes out. Blinding. Big flash. Oh, oh wow. Well enemy. done. Very and nice shot. That chamber was holding that angle with their operator. <laughs> Under sight with that utility. Oh. Excellent Use job. Use of Kijik. breaches. Utility there too. Bring the Saints back up to six v si or to six My and six. Mm -hmm. and just like the first half, half that yep. four zero start and then a six six. Mm -hmm. round. Excellent job for the Switching Saints. Sides. Here we are on the offensive side with Breach and Phoenix, which should hopefully two very aggressive duelists. This should hopefully help the Saints out a little bit. Breach is an initiator, but absolutely. Breach, Sova, and yes, Phoenix are all yes. incredibly aggressive champions. Omen is an aggressive controller. And Killjoy is, is more of a defensive sentinel, but will offer excellent post plant. Post plant utility. and uh, flank. And defense. flank, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Looks like St. Lawrence 
wants to head towards A on this pistol round. Mm -hmm. All five here into three from the Cornell University sports team. So well done for that. Pick the right side here. It's like they are moving in loud and proud. They are not trying to be sneaky here. Area. Sova Intel That's revealing up. positions. Oh, oh, that tripwire though. I mean, slowing down that go on to a kill. Oh dear. Ko knife should catch ne nearly all of them, if not all of them. Mm -hmm. Omen picks up the alt orb there. Mm -hmm. That kills just up close. Oh, but they don't see her. Yeah, I don't think they were spotted. See what they can do with that. That'll be a very powerful position. Mm -hmm. All the same. It looks attack. like she's still there, though. If you can see on the map, she's just sort of yeah. hanging out. Oh, shock dart from yeah. Silva. Yeah, all the saints are low, though, so it's a difficult round yes. for them. And flank is being watched, so that killjoy, whatever she may I'm be doing, ahead. that'll spot the killjoy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there she is. You can just hardly oh. see her yellow oh. beanie right peeking out mid. over the the metal there. Difficult angle for the Saints and mm -hmm. the as well. Thirty seconds left. Both of them are quite low. This, mm -hmm. this will be a difficult retake. Oh, I'm up close. Mm. Smoke out. Oh, last yeah. player standing. Yep. Spike down. Twenty-two for Kako. They're gonna Can push. Can he do it? Oh. Almost. That would have been good. Yeah. If he just had a little bit more health, I I think that he would have been yeah. able to. <laughs> retake that, but unfortunately, yeah. it's just a little bit too low. Mm -hmm. A little bit of health definitely would have gotten two. Mm. At least could have done something like that. But Maybe no help matter. out the economy. No matter. Round. No matter. Yeah. This does make five of six pistol rounds in this match for the side of Cornell University. It makes it very difficult for the Saints. Pistol rounds don't matter too much, but that's usually because they're 50-50. And so winning uh uh, five of them is, is quite good. Looks like rush up mid for the Saints. It's good with this limited weaponry. They want to run as five. Try to make as much of an impact as they can. No contacts yet. Not ideal for them. Ooh, they don't yeah. know. Tricky angle. Two of them fall. Oh, man. Oh, my oh. Goodness. Yeah. Ouch. Give a good angle. That happened. That wasn't very nice. The for pistol now. is just no match for the SMGs at no short match. range there. Okay. Saints have their weaponry though this time, and they're into five specters, so they will have the weaponry advantage. Yes. Even though they don't have uh, full shields mm -hmm. on everyone here, that is fine. The specter is much less powerful. Yeah. Ooh, and it looks like Cornell is planning on defending very offensively here. Oh my goodness, they are just Jets right up in their business. Down really well done from Cornell with two early kills. Yes. Let's see if the get something back here. Get oh, one. Omen blind might be useful here. Mm -hmm. But it looks like a Phoenix Molly will suffice. Oh, unfortunately, that breach flash did not did not did not prove mm -hmm. fruitful, but it was prudent a good try. Yeah, prudent to clear that out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, flash. Job from Dolly Dolly Dolly. Oh, but Spam through the smoke. Ah. Looks like the spike will go down. The spike has gone down, and it looks like Cornell is trying to push through the smoke that is about to dissipate. Oh. Very close. Remaining. And great job from Kago. Ah, 1v2 clutch for Kago. Really well Fantastic. done. Fist bump all bump. around. Yeah, fist bump. <laughs> That was a bonus round. So. Yes. So they'll be very happy over at Cornell to get four kills that mm -hmm. round. So Would have liked to win the round, of course, but yeah, yeah. Looks like both teams are 
pretty much full buying here, except for the Saints don't quite have as as much shields. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lo losing four members makes it again their economy will ahead. decrease. Mm -hmm. so. Mm, Sova with the giraffe recon there. That is that is a very good one. It reveals almost the entire site. Ooh, but that killjoy molly is just yeah. One molly went down inside. I didn't think they thought there was another one. And then another one. And then there was another one. Tijik with the excellent wall bang there though. Mm -hmm. Get a kill. Zorxa chimes in, but is brought to half health for it. Tijik with a second. Chamber is down. Clean for the Saints so far. Dolgoville yes. joins them. And it's just Jet now, who is full health, but is up against five players. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this goes down. Oh. Gets one, okay. gets, gets two. two. Okay. Wow, okay. Let's calm down. No need to keep chasing that Jet at yeah. the moment. Just let her come to you. Mm -hmm. Right there. She's thinking about making the attempt. Mm -hmm. Let's see if she fully commits. The great thing about Jet, or in our c scenario, the great thing about Jet is that she does not have any utility that will allow her to uh, damage players from afar. She really has to get up close and personal with them, or, you know, within shooting distance. Last player standing. Oh my gosh, golly goodness. Okay, okay. there we go. That Good job, <laughs> I think I, I think I can feel my heartbeat picking up a little oh, bit, no, but yeah. that was close. Yeah, four is definitely more than Jet uh, should have ever gotten in that situation in a 1v5. Mm -hmm. I think I might have jinxed the Saints uh, <laughs> when I said, <laughs> you know, one Jet, what will she do? <laughs> Apparently kill four of our beloved Saints, so maybe I will not say that again. Ah, difficult, difficult oh. time, and again, that lack of uh, members surviving for the Saints, yes. I mean, despite winning two rounds in a row, they still have not gotten a full buy with light shields for three other players. Oh, here's Jet through the window. Ow. Oh, okay. Great initial Ow. kill, but Saints chime in with three. She's dangerous. But she's also dead now, so not as much. Oh, nice headshot from uh, Tijik there. Great headshot from Tijik. Kildra will get Dollar Dollar Bill on the rotate, though. Mm -hmm. 2v1 situation. Eco round for Cornell, so they'll have been incredibly happy just to get three. Mm -hmm. Already. We have both Saints back in Boathouse here. Oh, oh revealed spotted. revealed at least one of their positions. Killjoy knows that Breach is back there, but does not know that Killjoy is also back there. Flash out. Last player mm. standing. Right, Killjoy is low, but Forever. has a sheriff, so one headshot is enough. Yes, and our remaining player is Tijek, who has very good reaction time. Wonderful. There we go. Pulls it out, but again, Cornell getting four, making yes. it possible for St. Lawrence to build up any kind of economy in this round. Which is just so bizarre. I mean, it's not bizarre. They're, they're, they're being very skillful, but also, wow, just against all odds, Cornell is coming out of the trenches. Yeah. Ready to fight. Really doing a really good job here. Mm -hmm. But the Saints are leading now by mm -hmm. one. Nine, Nine to eight. eight. I believe that's their first lead of the map. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lot of ultimates available. That breach ultimate should be really <laughs> beneficial. Um, Ooh, through the smoke. Yeah. Luckily it was just the Phoenix ultimate, but Many more follow. Wow. 1v3 for dollar dollar fail. Oh, very close. Now it's tied. Now it's tied. We had to say it. We had to say it. Um, we just had to say that they were ahead, but. Yes. I think Cornell can hear us over here, and they, they hear us <laughs> saying, oh, the Saints are ahead. Let's get them now. Oh, and here's yeah, the timeout. The timeout. We see our players. Looking very neutral. Mm -hmm. Don't look too stressed, though. No, no reason to be. It's nine no. nine. It is nine nine map three, though. So this, this is it's getting close there mm -hmm. at the end here. And am I correct in in thinking that whoever wins this game wins mm -hmm. the entire? Yeah. Wow. 
Game three, winner takes all. Lots of stakes here. Yeah, at this point, map one doesn't matter. Map two mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Even the first half of map three does not matter. Yep. Just right here, Last right now. Last few rounds. Let's see what they can do here. Like we talked about, it's each comp has their strength at the moment. It's two mm -hmm. initiators on attack versus two sentinels on defense. So yes. they're really just putting everything there on the table, fighting strength against strength, and the best team will win. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. Zortza was very vocal during that timeout. It's hard yes. to tell given how close they are to the screen. Yes, no. That mouth was definitely talking quite a bit. It looks like out of that timeout, the Saints are looking towards B site. That Killjoy is solo on B, but that's two mollies and alarm bot close to that. It's gonna be very difficult to push up. This is a very Cornell esque play. We have we have our Sova and Phoenix pushing uh, back here. We can see right now up to mid. Chad has not been spotted though. No, oh, no, which is oh, but there she is. Oh, yeah. and there she goes. Yeah, she'll be spotted now. Let's see if Kago can pick her off. <gasps> Just slightly off. Very on good that try, shot, yeah. but. Mm. She almost got a third kill, but not quite. Saints did not come into this round with full weaponry. No, Despite not at all. Despite winning so many in a row, they never managed to build up any economy. It's really well done for Cornell. We've got Saint here with the Guardian players. Standing. Spike down no match mid. for the Vandal, apparently. Mm -mm. Still a good left. gun. I'm not sure. Oh, not spotted. Not spotted. Trigger Two kill. Wonderful. Sometimes that doesn't work. That I have seen like that not work in the past. Definitely backfired. Ooh, that killjoy. It's been clear. Oh. Will not fall. Rats. Excellent from Zortza to get two. At least yes. the economy won't grow too much. But they will. He had the right idea. So He's, he swung the work. the angle correctly, mm -hmm. but just unfortunately didn't. Was a few pixels yeah. off of her head. Yeah, it's a 50 50 gunfight. Mm. It's not the 50 we like. No. What? 9 10? I think whatever coin they might be flipping is weighted. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, those 50 50s have not been no. going St. Lawrence's way tonight. No. But that was a save round, though. So now yes. they're able to full buy this round for the Saints. Let's see what they can do here. They're really looking for a win here. Otherwise, they're probably looking at map point. Oh. Match point. Detection from KO's ah, knife run. there. Mm -hmm. Not the best. But appears a rotate is in action. Through mid where oh, oh, there is an operator. A quick swing from Not chamber ending fun. Things. That attacking killjoy doesn't find anyone. Doesn't even bait any rotations either. Mm -hmm. Quickly jump on to Ooh. B site though. Good B -site reaction is, time. Yeah, B site's in the hands of the Saints. Yes. And Tijik is here wrecking havoc over on A. I don't know. Think the Cornell players know what to do. At all. They're just as confused as we are. Yeah. They have B site, but the spike is heading back into out. mid. Oh, Tijik is picked off, unfortunately though. Mm. Let's see if Omen can get this ultra off before he falls. No. Ooh. Just but unlucky. it looks like the Killjoy does not know that the other Killjoy is here. It's a KJ KJ showdown, and unfortunately, the wrong one won. Just Ugh. unlucky so sad. after unlucky oh. moment for the Saints there. Thirty seconds left. Will this Omen was Killjoy trying to TP not? and gets shot in the side of the head. Yeah. Killjoy tries to jump out of that position. Oh my yes. God! I don't know how he knew he was there, but I guess he did know he was there. <laughs> Maybe it was that, that long cape Sova wears. Maybe it was peeking <laughs> out from behind the box. Oh, whatever it was. A stray strand of hair. I'm not be happy, yeah. No. 9-11. Saints money is really difficult. They'll manage to get some weapons, given that they've lost, this will be their, they've lost three in a row, but it's not looking great. Mm -mm. Right here. See what the Saints can do with this round. That jet operator is still mid right into where the mm. Saints want to peek here. Doesn't get Not anyone. successful. Yeah, the smoke comes down in time, I see. Oh, but it looks like... Oh! That... That jet that gave them a Ooh, big a lot of utility being used there. Ooh! 
Oh, three person spray Don't. down from the moment. Wow. Rats. Yeah, uh, that was that potential was there for a Saints Eco victory there, but potentially difference in Rapperney was too strong in the end. And that operator still in the hands of a Jet. Lots of money for mm -hmm. that Cornell University team, so no matter what, they'll be yes. able to buy this round. And next. And next, and until the end of the game. Yeah. We, on the other hand, might not. Yeah. Uh, map point, though. Match point. Yes. Not looking super favorable, but have faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Saints have almost complete weapon draws. They're going to do the best they can in this round. Mm -hmm. That operator still posted here, and the bridge is maybe going to walk right into it. Woo! Excellent jump, Peak, though. Yes. Very good strategy there. Mm -hmm. Over dart doesn't spot anyone up close. Right here. Oh, it's I think heard some footsteps. Saints content to just sit here. Spikes over towards B, but no one's been <gasps> oh, yet. Now. Lilac on Kea with the first blood over in mid. Healing area. Joke's over. You're there dead. Phoenix ultimate. Okay. Not able to see anyone in this. But was all able to damage ball. Omen pretty significantly. Yeah. So it's a little slow though. Lilac will trade. Dollar level gets one. The operator shows up. Oh no. I need to take that the down. The operator is unfortunately. Spike will go down and defending Killjoy will go down. Phoenix needs to watch out. Uh, it looks like, yeah. He'll be detained. That's an interesting oh play. Oh no. Player standing. Yeah. We, we switched off, but they knew exactly where. Yeah. Good game. Really well played from Cornell there. Yes. To limit the St. Lawrence economy in that second half. Not let those three rounds in a Defenders row get win. to any advantage. Um, that is a Cornell map victory. A Cornell match victory. Mm -hmm. Two to one. Two to one. It was yeah. close, though. It was close, yeah. It was close. Just three rounds difference. Three rounds difference in the third game. So mm -hmm. definitely a close game. But yes. Absolutely. Win for the side of Cornell. Well mm -hmm. done to them. Well done to Cornell and well done to the Saints. Well done to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully you'll join us for future St. Lawrence streams. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Yeah.